Okay, so this is the second of the three boot camps. This is the reduction of, in this case, a ketone, although this would also work for an aldehyde. So just like before, first of all, first thing we need to do is think about what's actually happening, try and explain it in your mind using that little voice you've got, and then that'll help you remember it. So what's happening here is our H minus. Now, just to point out, with reduction, this is H minus, but do be prepared to change this for other negatively charged things. Cn minus is one you should know as well, but also other things you might not have come across. Sh minus is an example, but anything like that. Any nucleophile, really. But what's happening is, in this case, the H minus is sharing or donating a lone pair of electrons with the carbon to form a bond with it, a C to H bond. And here, as we have a negative and a positive dipole, the pi bond, the second bond, is breaking and the pair of electrons is going to the oxygen. And so giving that oxygen the negative charge. In the second step, the oxygen with the negative charge is then donating or sharing its, its lone pair or one of its lone pairs with a hydrogen to form a bond with it. Now we've got the OH bond. And this O to H bond, we've got these dipoles here, negative and positive. The bonding pair of electrons is being given to the oxygen, hence OH minus. The minus will be on the oxygen. So just like before, we'll have six minutes of boot camping. Off we go. Keep going guys, few more minutes left. Keep going guys, doing really good. Halfway there. So don't be forgetting, be thinking in your head as you're writing it down, what's happening. 
rather than just trying to copy it, copy it down from memory, actually try and figure out in your head what's happening as you copy it down. You know, what bonds have been forming? What bonds have been broken? What's going to get the negative charge and why? Okay, last time guys, one more time. Let's try and get it down. Doing really well. In particular, don't forget that those curly arrows need to come from directly between the lone pair. They're really, really tight about that in exams, so do be careful of them. Okay guys, so again, you're definitely going to want to have another go at this again in within the next 48 hours, and then definitely again within a week is this, this constant repetition of going over it in several slots. That's really, really useful for long-term memory. Okay, we'll call that for the second one. Just one more to go.